Hi all, I have another fascinating game to show you from the TSEC bonus area. So that's run in parallel to the main area. You can find it at https colon uh, slash slash TSEC bonus dot club slash. So I hope you uh, check that area out uh, for this amazing stockfish against Leela match currently being held. The hardware is mega for both sides. So AMD Fred Ripper 1920 uh, on a 3.7 gigahertz liquid cooled. Uh, that's that's uh, for Stockfish. The GPU is a two uh, times uh, RTX 2070. Uh, so it's pretty cool hardware. Let's have a look at this game. Be free from Leela. So Leela ID 32329. Uh, we have b6 well, an unusual opening book to start off with knight c3 e6 bishop b2 bishop e7 this has been seen before this position in over the board there's been several high level games transposing with c5 here for example this is uh following uh honest trick against Ganguly in dubai 2014 so this is a legitimate start position really uh several grandmaster games from it but this is unusual bishop e7 that stockfish played. We have d4, d5, ed, ed, queen g4, hitting g7. That pawn's moved. White castles, queen side, very aggressive. Knight f6, queen f4, black castles. h4, it seems very, very logical to go for the attack here. Bishop d6, the queen drops back. a5, king b1, a4. Uh, if black tries h5, you might think to try and prevent white. It seems f3 might be an effective way to play this, for example, like this. And then g4, white should be doing okay, small edge. So a4 there, h5, sacrifice, pawn sacrifice, and knight takes. And this is where it gets really interesting uh, and dynamic after g4. Uh, we have now knight f4. On knight f6, Queen h6. This is too dangerous, it seems, for black. For example, like this. Uh, it gets very dangerous. Black would have to sack the exchange to avoid total disaster. It's just better for white. So the knight goes to f4. Now we have knight g e2, queen g5. And a kind of weakness of the last move, so neglecting c7. And knight b5 pounces on that, threatening knight takes, and knight takes f4. So knight e6, but now this is the super dynamic consideration. For me, a high point of the game here, guess what white plays in this position? If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay, f4, yeah, another pawn sack. We have bishop takes f4. If we look at some alternatives here, queen e7, f5 is dangerous. For example, like this, knight takes, bishop g2, uh, pressure on d5 here is building up and that knight's also still a target so this kind of scenario is not very nice for black at all when it's got big advantage there on knight takes f4 then knight takes d6 and knight takes f4 uh yeah so we have uh, bishop takes f4 knight takes queen takes on knight takes f4 here Knight takes c7. Uh, this is just very nice for white, as you might expect. Very, very dangerous. White can play like this when material even. So, uh, queen takes. We have queen takes, knight takes, knight takes c7. So, even though white is a pawn down, there is another issue here. And the queens have come off, so it's not about mating the king. There is another major issue in this position facing black. So even though a pawn up, this end game here, well, queenless middle game, whatever, is dangerous. After knight b5, rook a8, we have bishop a3, key move, and it's difficult to see where the rook can go here. We have a takes b, so you might think, well, why not just move the rook somewhere? If the rook's moved to e8, knight c7, for example, this continuation, uh, is winning the exchange. That's going to be fine for white. On rook d8, instead, knight c7, b4 kind of uh, gives white a very, very good endgame by force. Yeah, if 
Bishop c1 is prompting this knight move back, and then the pawns are fixed on light squares. White has a very strong dark square grip, combined with dislocating the pawn on a4. This constitutes, even though it's a pawn down, this is actually an advantage for white, a big advantage. This position, the lockdown on dark squares and the weak pawn, it seems guarantees white an advantage. Uh, I take I take this a bit further, this simulation, say a3, bishop e5, just to prove it uh, a little bit more. Even if rooks come off, the resulting position is very favourable to white when white wins this a3 pawn. White goes to win the a3 pawn and then it's going to be a big advantage. So these end games are not very good after rook d8. After rook c8, uh, this bishop c1 again, this knight d6, this there's a tactical knight e8 here, and check. And in fact, there's a there's a there's a knight sack in this line, which is mega dangerous here. It seems blacks the, the two bishops are doing very well here. Everything's very coordinated, and uh, this ends up being <clears throat> a massive advantage for white here. Ta for tactical reasons so sometimes it's for tactical sometimes it's for end game <coughs> pardon me reasons so very very interesting bishop a3 sets black all sorts of problems in this position so this is where stockfish uh, sacks the exchange a takes so bishop takes taking on c2 king takes king comes back to protect the a2 pawn so Okay, it's a little bit tricky, you might think. Two pawns for the exchange. Uh, but knight c7, we have knight e8 check. And now rook takes h7. Here, uh, so it's only one pawn for the exchange now. d4 is slightly vulnerable, so black's going to target d4 pretty soon. White counters with a target on b6. So still, and now getting the rooks off. And yeah, this is just the consolidation now. It's it's a winning position the exchange up with an outside past a pawn. Uh, black is really uh, running out of things to do here. Uh, so this is uh, interesting technique. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much over. The game continues until both sides think. It's absolutely winning. It's adjudicated as a win for white here. Both sides think it's absolutely winning for white. So yeah, this is uh, it's very impressive at the moment. If you want to witness what's going on, this bonus match, just to reiterate, it's kind of an end of era witness for end of year actually. So end of year, end of era, you can be the first witness to this match. It seems as though Stockfish is losing this match. Quite a number of games have been played. Stockfish has taken some heavy defeats. Uh, but it's only it's only a one point gap at the moment. It's not a massive gap, uh, but um, yeah, this is the Test Thirty network, uh, higher ID than in the Premier Division. So it's at uh, tsecbonus dot club. So https colon slash slash tsecbonus dot club. I'll put I'll put it in the uh, pinned comments and in of of this video. Check out the pinned comments. Yeah, very very interesting uh, stuff indeed. If you enjoyed this game video, then please click on the top left box, which should appear shortly to become a member at chess, uh, chessworld.net, play against other YouTubers. You can also check the YouTube analysis of these games from the improved menu learned for the Masters YouTube order button. Comments, questions, donations, see the description. Like, share, subscribe with the notification bell, especially appreciated. And check out the new Teespring store in the description as well for form porn and other chess t-shirts. Okay, look forward to seeing you guys. Check out this bonus area. Thanks very much.